Welcome to this series where we are playing as a fugitive or what I should say now a part fugitive in No Man's Sky. That means we are playing with power def settings on maximum and we only have limited access to only two factions now. That is the Gek and the Corvax because in the last part we managed to get to become a Templar as a Bikin, which which according to my modified rules means that we've now got access to Bikin settlements on the planet. So we still can't go into the space station because there's a risk that we will run into a Gek or a Corvax who will um, give us away and then we'll be in trouble. So all we can do now is visit uh, planetary bases in Bikin systems only. And that's probably a good segue into saying a big thank you for all your comments and feedback. You guys give me a lot to think about. Now, Snafu did point out that uh, what would happen if my standing dropped. And the answer to that is if my standing drops down and I'm no longer a Templar or it drops below 100, then we'll become a fugitive again. So we then we'd have to re-earn the standing. But of course, I don't know if you guys noticed, is that uh, I've had a, a, a battle on behalf of the Bikin since the end of the last video and I've now got a standing of 101 so we can do a, a couple of iffy things and still keep our standing but if, but if it does drop by, uh, below 100 then we're a fugitive again and then we've got to go back to the old rules. One thing that does concern me is now we're going to be playing with mixed uh, kind of scenarios so uh, and of course we've got to go to a get or callback system because i can't become a truly non-fugitive until i've got the max standing for all both with the gek and the callbacks as well and the, and of course that run then leads to a little bit of a risk that if i'm not careful i can enter a gek or callbacks building on a planet and then it's we the rules kick in that says we we've, we've been caught and then we've got to escape and it's going to cost us everything which is very interesting because i'm not sure um fighting off loads and loads of sentinel ships unless of course i happen to be in the right ship at the time but then we've got to scrap it this is where it gets a bit complicated so uh, i'm not sure how to do that so i'm just going to be trying to try and be very careful that i don't make that mistake now the reason we're parked on this minor settlement is that this is a vikin minor settlement and we're going to enter it for the first time and actually, before I started, I did look up how many hours I've been playing this, and I've actually reached 110 hours. So after 110 hours of gameplay, we are entering our first system, a POI, down on a planet, and we can talk to our first Vakeen here. So, world silent, all modules, uh, interloper, pause to consider the trap. Uh, well, we're offering 166 units. Shakes his head, disappointed. It's presumably it's traceable. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to lose standing straight away. And what we should be able to do is actually extract there. But more importantly, now we can sell some stuff. Uh, like we can sell that fossilized feline skill for 618,000. Press the C. And we can sell off all these storm crystals for 3.8 million. That gets us over 50 million. Now, Snafu did ask me about the, the the fact that I'm collecting lots and lots of tritium, and the reason for that is that I'm I, what I would like to do is actually put a little bit more. Um, and, and the reason for that is that I would like to uh, put some more into my other ships. Some of them are a bit low. So we got that. So that's the reason why I'm still collecting tritium. Uh, I've got some, uh, what we call it in here. Where is it? Some Atalan idiom. And I need that to repair the, um, the fa fa what's it? The, those fa fazage or whatever they're called, phage systems. And of course we can buy some resources now. Not that I really need to buy anything. The only thing I wouldn't mind doing is uh, if we could go and talk to this guy uh, let me just see we can purchase components so it means we've now opened up the possibility of uh, buying wiring looms so I think that's the big one is the fact that we can now buy wiring looms uh, which helps with some things we've got antimatter housing somatic seals 
and we can also get a, a exosuit upgrade kit but I'm not going to buy these we're still going to stick to the old rules on that and the other thing is I wouldn't mind buying some templates or purchase some blueprints <laughs> bolt caster ionizer um, make exosuit movement suit ha <laughs> advance and technology blueprint already know so we got this ionizer um shield lattice um the shield lattice well these are b class i think i've got better already haven't i that's a bit of a letdown so not really worth doing and uh let's go out this way the other thing oops I thought that was the sentinel the other thing I have done is I've actually discovered all the creatures on this planet so we're going to get some more nanites for that in fact I probably go to there and I can upload everything here as well this was another 307 nanites so that is the current situation and um, I've kind of gone around all this area. In fact, it's in one of these caves that I actually found the missing creature. So this was quite a good find. So what I want to do in this part is we're going to stay with the Blessed Grave Searcher. And we're actually going to a warp in this because I've got a warp capability. And we're going to see if we can find some trouble because we're going to warp to a Gek or Korvac system. Um, because I, I really fancy getting into a fight with freighters because I've had a couple of those when I've come into the system but the uh, my normal um, warp ship isn't really set up for extensive combat so we're going to take a bit of a chance here um, we're going to we're still going to keep going towards the centre of the galaxy but what I would like to do, I don't want to go to the Keen system. I want to travel the maximum range here, but of course, I don't think I, I think I can travel a fair distance. One thing we haven't got is a an economy scanner, so we don't really know what we're looking kind of thing. So if we expand this, uh, we got a water planet here. I think we'll go here. Now, I think we need Gek, actually. Come to think of it. Uh, let me just... Of course, I've got a Gek system here. I think we'll go here and see if we can trigger a, a, a fight. Of course, if, if, we, if we win the battle, we can only claim the standing. We can't actually go on the freighter. We've just got to be a, a mysterious um, saviour for the Gek fleet. And of course, um, we don't actually <laughs> get a, sh a ship to attack us. Oh well, that's the way it goes. And we got a number of planets here. We got uh, the conflict levels fractious. I think let's have a look around and see what we've got. We've got aggressive sentinels. I've got an unknown planet over there. I mean, I could just keep going and see if we can get people in another way. Can't go to the space station. Um, I think what what have we got in, right in front of us? We've got a forsaken planet. Uh, I think a forsaken planet we might better get a quick cash win by going down on this planet um, but I'd still would like to be able to upgrade my ships but of course we still can't do that um, this is a, definitely a forsaken planet I don't you can't see me going to be no unique life form on this planet but we can touch down oh no it's possible we'll touch down very quickly 
See if we can get a win, quick win with respect to creatures. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. No, this is not. This is not going to be it, is it? Stop telling me, game. Okay, we're leaving. We got the fuel. I mean, this ship is pretty efficient when it comes to. Um, get back up into space. And I think what we will do. Is it was that one, wasn't it? We'll head for the the barren planet and see if we can get into a little bit of mischief with respect to kind of helping the Gek out. But to say we've got a base there, but um, we're going to be a little bit careful because we still can't enter these bases. But if we hang around the bases, we might be able to. Oh, this is just uh, minimal. But what we have got here is a freighter. I think, as I, I think we've come down in the middle of a storm. What we can do is visit the freighter itself. There it is. We can land here. Gives us a free landing point. And we can just jump out. Um, obviously a bit warm here a bit toasty um, and I think what we will do is we will just as a set the birds up in the sky start scanning those and we'll just see what we can find in there I think it almost feels like we're in the middle of a storm Actually, while while I'm digging this, I did get I did get a comment. Someone asked me which game I preferred, No Man's Sky or Imperium. And to be completely honest, I like each I like them equally. I know that may sound as a bit of a contradiction, but while they're both based in space, No Man's Sky and uh. Imperium, they're two in some ways they're two different games. And when I like whether I like them or not, um actually depends on what mood I'm in. Because like say No Man's Sky has always been my go to game after a bad day when I just want to kind of chill out and play without getting into any real stress because despite all the kind of restrictions that you can get in No Man's Sky it is a relatively low stress game and the thing I do really like about No Man's Sky is the fact that because it's got such a big galaxy and I mean the game's been going since what was it 2016 which is what seven years now and you can still find planets that nobody else has ever discovered and there's a and there's a certain satisfaction that comes with Landing on a planet like this, because we're the ones who discovered it, isn't it? Let me just see discovery. Yeah, we we discovered this planet today. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that um, nobody's ever been here. It's just that, well, I suppose technically it is, because when, when, but somebody may not have registered it. But there's a good chance that I'm the first player in seven years to have actually landed on this um, planetary system. And if I claim it, and effectively add my name, which I will do. Um, and you come in here, I've got another vector compressor, so we can just get away from the radiation. So, for example, if I now come here and do the upload, that effectively registers my name as the discover original discoverer of this planet. And if I if I find all the, uh, oops, this is quite an interesting plot, and and this is the thing about No Man's Sky. It's like if you discover all the creatures on the planet, you go on as a matter of record that you discovered all the creatures on the planet. 
And of course, you can name the planets as well, um, not uh, the creatures. And and those go on a matter of record. So, so you're effectively adding to a game that sometime in the future, I mean, I don't know how long the game is going to run, somebody will land on this planet and see that I was the one who actually discovered it. And I think there's a certain element of satisfaction that comes with doing things, something like that in a major game where um, and where and in contrast uh, uh, Imperium is more a game which I like to go to when I'm kind of feeling a bit like I want to take out some stress and I want to kill something either that or I feel like a bit, bit creative and I want to build something so they're, they're two different games and, and how you want how you play on them really much very much does depend on um, you know you kind of well from my personal perspective is something that I do want well, you know depends on how I feel as is probably the best way to describe it anyway um, uh, I'm kind of I would like to dip that final um, drop pod or not drop pod uh, freighter pod which is over here but we're gonna have to watch the fires in fact, uh, it may not be such a good idea to drop down there, so maybe we will leave that here. So this is quite a hostile system in its own way, isn't it? Oh well. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just push off, because we've got the free takeoff, so we haven't lost anything. And well, where are we actually? We're roughly at the equator. And we've discovered one creature out of eight. We could go to another planet. I think we'll just explore this for a little while. See what the planet looks like when the storm's gone, I think. Um, and see if we can trigger attack to get a little bit of standing from with the Gek. It is the Gek, isn't it? Yeah, we're on a GEC system, so. Uh, we'll just. Got an unknown building just there. Of course, we're still looking for graves. Um, the Eternal Optimist. We could put down here, but uh, that might be pushing my luck a little bit. I mean, this is an extreme planet with kind of a fairly hostile storm on it, but we're not seeing any storm crystals because, again, now we've got somewhere where we can sell them. That's going to be a good way to make lots and lots of money. Uh, I suppose another amendment to the rule is that we could build a base on a uh, Bikin system as well. Not that um, someone who builds bases, any who follow the channel know that, I, I just like to be moving all the time especially in No Man's Sky because there's just so much to see I know you can set up teleporters and teleport back to bases and things like that but uh, I just feel that uh, there's just so much to explore and why keep going backwards you know that's the kind of way that I look at things uh, let me just see yeah Thank goodness the storm's going. Uh, that's just a, a little bit of a cache. So we'll uh, just go and check out. I'm kind of trying to hang around the buildings. That, yes, thank you, game. I'm just kind of hanging around these bases, hoping to trigger a, some kind of attack, but. I suppose in some ways now I'm look. I want the attack. The game won't give it to me. This looks like there's some copper down there. Well, it could be pyrite. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Because what we could do is we could just put down and claim the 
the uh, what we call it uh, the damaged machinery so we'll just come there get rid of this one thing I would really like would be a personal refiner. In fact, if we go looking for a crash ship, uh, I, again, there's, there's one thing about this game is you get into certain habits. Like I've just collected these things. I've got no reason to do it because I've already got so much blue and carbon and all that that I don't know what to do with it already. Same with all the fuel we got. I mean, that's worth half a million. That's pretty cool. Uh, any creatures around on this horrible planet? Um, there's a cre might be creatures up over the top there. We can. I mean, I've got, I've got 280 phosphorus, so it's not like a, we can't operate here. Oops. Hello, guys. There's... We've got, got a pirate deposit over there. Um, I think, I think there's a creature in that direction. We'll, we'll go that way. Um, on this burning planet. And pick up some pyrite. And we'll see how it goes. Um, yes, I know. Uh, maybe it's a bit far away, but I think we can afford to spend the time pick the fire right up. Ah, no, nope. oh. nearly fell down a hole. Would have been bad news. Oh, planet's on fire! This again, this is something I really do like about No Man's Sky that. Despite the fact that you've got all these planets in there, and I'll, I'll be the first one to accept that there is a certain amount of um, repetition with respect to the different biomes. I mean, but there's always different things to see on planets, strange creatures, um, you know, bits and pieces, because things come in different combinations. Uh, we'll just come there, and we'll just pick up a little bit of pyrite be going on with so we we'll just grab this because I could pick up some phosphorus if I see any and we'll just look up on this oh. <laughs> we've got firewalls in here oh yeah Thought we only got those in the middle of a storm. Obviously, I think those are. Wow, well, very obligingly come up. 256,000 for that. So, I suppose we could go to a pirate system as well. another whatever that is Os Os type. I can't pronounce anything today I don't know why um, an identified plant you can think okay it took long enough and I'm a little bit far away from my ship so we're gonna have to. You break my ship, I will be really, really annoyed. <laughs> Where are you? Priority guy. Ah, there he is. I think there's two of them. Well, it worked eventually. Oops, where are you? 
Uh, I think he's a bit close to the ground, so we don't think we'll get a reward from that. I mean, in some ways I'm killing my own allies, but this would be a way to lift my standing with the, the Gek. Oops, I think I've just shot a bird. I'm not that I think I can actually do that. No, uh, I don't think... Well, we got the money. <laughs> Um, so that's lifted our standing with the Gek. So we've got a long way to go with the Gek because we've got to get to a hundred. So uh, at the moment we're a best friend. Uh, next rank, rank most favoured in level 19. Oh well. So we've made a small step in the right direction. I think seeing we're in the air, we're... I think I've had enough of this planet. Uh, I think what we'll do is see what else we've got here. We've got there... We've got an Arctic planet. You get the feeling this is a little bit of an extreme planet uh, system actually. We've got a tropical. We haven't been to a tropical pla planet for a little while. Let's just go tropical. So we've got an opportunity now, rather than running away, we're going to wait for the hostiles to come in. It's high risk, but at the same time, it's. Yes, bring it on, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm actually in the right ship at the moment. Although fighting in an asteroid belt isn't. Yeah, where are you coming from? I'll stop. Where are you? There it is. Got a suspicious package. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Um, where's my shields? Uh, Crimson Core. Right, drop a shard in there. Recharge the shields. The only, see, see what I mean is I can't see these guys hidden in the amongst all the junk. Plus, these guys are a little bit tougher than the ones that I mean on the ground. Where are you? There you are. Where are you? I've got you now. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Downside is that... Uh, actually, let me just check something. Yeah, we can use sodium nitrate. I had to use there. We've got a suspicious package. Oh, yeah. Um, uh -huh. We've got a warp hypercore, which technically I don't think we need for this ship because we can recharge everything with shards. Uh, anyway, we'll check that once we come in on the um, planet now. Let's kind of throw out there. There's a unknown base building over here. Got to stop looking for these. Oh no, it's only a. Uh, I don't think we're going to park near it because we land near a base and then I wander off like I did last time. We're, we've been in a bit of trouble. So I think we'll just find a kind of nice open little bit of ground to put down on. The one thing I've noticed about tropical planets is they don't seem to have as much in the way of uh, what we call it, it's damaged machinery and stuff. Anyway, we're down here. Uh, we'll just look at what's the luminous engine. Oh well, we yeah we can use a white warp hypercore in here if we need it. Right, just turn that into surplus. Use that up a bit. We've got a bit of gold. 
We've got a suspicious package arms. Got him. What is this? Rebuilt internals. This is for a uh, scatter blaster. I wouldn't mind a scatter blaster. Unfortunately, we don't have the space for it. Um, we could install that on another. Sh I am wondering, maybe we can. Because uh, we don't. Act we've only got this kind of bolt caster thingy here. Um, I think if we store that. Oops. We store that in there. Right. I Something I haven't looked at for a little while, so... Um, we've got empty explore, light ammo on top. Wow. I didn't realise I had... What is this thing? See, this one... Is that the... Sh one that I've already got. This is this advanced mining laser, which I, I kind of struck to, stuck together to um, with, to give enhanced mining speed. I need to sort my my mining beams out. I can't remember which one. I think this is the MT Explore. This is the one that I'm using. We've got the mining one. Okay, um, what's the kiss of fire then? This is the kiss of fire, I think this is the one we just looked at, isn't it? Um, what else have I got then? Improved light atomizer. We got the touch, kiss of fire. MT Explore. Improved Light Anthem. What is this one? Oh, this is one we haven't repaired, is it? And this is a B class. Right, we could repair this, but I don't know. Um. <laughs> Um, what is the other one then? So we got the Kiss of Fire, Main MT Explore, Improved Light Atomizer. So what is this? Well, we could mark this one out as a, uh, a what we call it, a combat one, but we'd have to repair it. Um, that could be worth doing. I mean, we got the worrying loom, so I oh, only got the one worrying loom. We could always buy some more uh, ionized cobalt paraffinium. We are on the right planet for some paraffinium, although I've probably got paraffinium in my. I think what we'll do is we'll just install that for the moment because we, I mean, we the problem's going to be is whether we can get a scatter blaster, isn't that? Okay. Oh, and this is actually an A class as well, which if you compare, which if we compare with the, uh, what we call it, where are you, the one we've been using, MT Explore, this is, a, this is a B, I think if we can get some paraffinium, then we're on the right planet, um, buried cash, we'll go and get the buried cash. Yeah, I think we're going to repair the, uh, what we call it, um, uh, too far away, okay, yeah, we're, we're going to have a little bit of a repair session, and then maybe we'll switch the uh, the multi-tool around. Maybe that's something that we do need to do. A copper deposit. Magnetize. Paraffinium there. 603. The ship should recharge okay. So we're going to head for the paraffinium. 
and dig that up so we can repair the ship. I can always put any surplus in my supply ship because there's always a need for paraffinium. Oh, found some birds. Hey, let me scan you. Another 481,000. There's some more birds up over here actually as well by the foot. Uh, let me just get up on the hill. This is obviously a planet of birds. Yep. So we got three out of six. Uh, here, also, we've got a nice big deposit of paraffinium here. Uh, let's just pick this out. Right, just going to scoop around this side so that we can clear off the paraffinium on this side of the crater. Right, we've got quite a nice big pile of paraffinium now. And if we come back to here, put it there. Right, we've got the improved light atomizer. That means we can repair this uh, this and this and all we need now is some ionized cobalt and another wiring loop that's okay because I think if I find a bit of flat space here somewhere <laughs> so a little bit of a recess here I can see you this lashy plant. Well, get rid of you. And uh, what is my? Bring in my supply ship. Just see Starship. There's the our nice supply of wiring looms. And I think we've got a little bit of ionized cobalt. So if we go to the multi tool repair you and we can repair you. So oh, but we don't have enough of that, we got so what I want to do now is just count the number of slots. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We've got 19 slots in this uh, one. We go to here. Find my empty explorer. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right, so we've got the possibility of we get some more cobalt. Uh, we can then swap this over. The only difference is that if we want the where is it the light atomizer? At the moment this doesn't have. Uh, we have to put in. Right, we need to make some carbon nanotubes and do that. Oops. So, uh, make a couple of carbon nanotubes. we install you in there. Uh, what else can we put in? We could. Right, we've got iron batteries. But we can install the personal shield. Advanced binding laser we can put in as well. Ah, we need a, do I need a combat scope? We do need a bolt caster, so we need to make some more nanotubes. Uh, an analysis visor outlawed. We can shove that in there for the moment. We can fill in that space there. 
Um, what have I got in my current one? Let me just flip back again. Apologies for this, guys, but I, I think we got an opportunity here to uh, swap multi-tool. What we got in here? Well, we got a combat swap. We call precise scanner. Got a whole load of stuff in here. Um, I mean, I could pull the advanced mining laser out of here, but do I really need to do that? We've got analysis visor we need to put in as well. I think. Let me just. Uh, I mean, I'd like to keep the MT as a kind of reserve. Now that we've got analysis visor, we've already got. So probably put you in here. The only thing I'm not seeing in this one is any enhanced slots. But I think we can. Right, what do we need for this plasma launcher? Yeah, geology, geology cannon. Um, we need a hematic seal and a carbo nanotube. Um, uh, I think that's a relatively quick, easy win. So we can put this in the wiring looms. Probably move you down to there, put you there, put you there. Uh, scanner and analysis visor. We need this, so we need three carbon tubes for this. See, I, I knew there was a reason why, whoops, I knew there was a reason why I was collecting all these, uh, um, all this carbon. I think that can go back to the starship. Multi tool. Well, just install you. Then we can sort this out over time. I need the carbon. Have I got any more cobalt in here? No. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, I got the power. I mean, got 172 cobalt. So if I deploy you put some that's ionized where's the other cobalt uh, well we can go straight for 75 I can put the ionized cobalt back in the our ship here um, getting a bit low on oxygen where are you Probably use up one of those because we've got an excess of these. Uh, although I could probably put some of these in the starship. Mm. Don't have a pressing need for ammunition. That can go. That can go in the starship as well. Deuteronium. I think that can go to the starship as well because I think I've already got Detronium in here. The Pugnium really needs to go back into the Sentinel ship so we can just sort this out while we go. <laughs> Probably don't need all this um, rusted metal actually come to think of it. Right let me just Grab that and um, pick you up so in case we've got to go leave quickly. And then that means we can get rid of this horrible slot in the middle. That means I can put this. I think for the moment we can just move this, move the scanner to there, to there. We can leave that then wherever it's going. Um, I think we'll put a combat scanner up there. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any benefit with doing that. So, right now, what we're going to have to do is um to 
Pop multi tools. Where is it? Right, we've got need that there. We got on. We can store you. Or you see what we can put into there. Certainly, going to see this is the potential problem. Is this has got a unique slot where the other shit one doesn't have a unique slot? But I, I think we can work around that. Uh, I know some of you guys are going to say, "What? What are you doing?" But uh, I. Th I think we can work around this. I mean, if it is, if it's no good, then we um, we got these beams here. So if it's no good, then we're just going to change it back. Uh, see how it fits. Uh, <laughs> and then we got this one here. Uh, this thing I don't think gives us that much. So if we can leave that behind I think uh, just get here improve light atomizer I think that's the one we're looking at isn't it yep so we can you've got there um, we've got that there probably get rid of you and then put you in there. Um, move you over to about there. Move you over to about there. Go over to about there. Um, let's put the scanners in next. So uh, actually, the analysis visor can go down there. Let's see what we can fit, kind of fit together. There's a, you can go there. So we've kind of lost a little bit of our income from scanning, but I think I can afford to live with that. And then we've got, put those rounds. Uh, yeah, it's the problems always with this game is is the actual uh, the combination because of the pattern we really need to be able to install right if I can put that there and then we can put that there so we got two S's and um, got that there I think we might have lost some scanner range, but I think we're okay. We still only got one slot left though. Um, but we've got this extra outlawed rebuilt internals in here for the pole splitter. Uh, so all that and all I've done basically is just gained a single slot. Um, I could probably just tuck you down there. That leaves that single slot there. We really need the ability to, uh, what we call it, ability to extend the multi-tool. Either that will get a better multi-tool. But we've now got an A-class. Um, and of course I've lost my other ship, but we can find it relatively easy by just taking off and then looking for you. We seem to have two ships on our radar. Okay. Um, let's just look for this one first. And then we can always fly back with the other one. That one I think is moving. Um, 
is it? Yeah, I get a sneaking suspicion that that one is moving. So we just, yeah, it's disappeared. So uh, I'm just going to fly back. It should take us back to our other ship. And of course, this thing is a bit, this is just my supply ship. So I'm not really that interested in flying, but we can should be able to get back to there he is just tucked down in here so we'll give the scanner a go we'll give our new multi-tool a go and see how it goes but if it if it doesn't work then we can always flip, flip back still getting 465,000 for that um, Anything else around here that making some money? Certainly a lot of birds. We're at six. Okay, we've got some underwater ones, always active. I think very quickly to try and finish off this video, we're going to go looking for some water to see if I can get a quick win. Or. Right. So, what I'm going to do now is so we're just going to go looking for water and the in fact probably the quickest way to find water will be down there right we're going to go swimming for a little while and see if we can get the last two creatures on this planet and then that will be it for this part Okay, I'm in the right ship. Yes, where are you? suspicious stick now I've lost that lake I can guarantee it oh no it's just right below us <laughs> well we got an increase of two with the gek there um, well. and the other thing we got is a suspicious package. Uh, where is it? It'll be in the Starship, won't it? What we got here? Got suspicious life support. Um, see what we got. That's 55 solar panel. 52. Yeah, this trouble is it's got 55 solar panels, but. Only 12% life support. Um, uh, we'll just dismantle you. And then we'll just go paddling. Right, I need two creatures. I mean, the odds of finding both in here at the same time are pretty low. We've got plenty of oxygen, so, well, it's one. <laughs> two. Two. And that should be it. 155,000. So we're still getting a, a fairly good income from the thingies. And what we're going to do now is come to discoveries. Give us another 1,500 nanites. And of course, we're just doing a, a, a load there. So that kind of marks this planet with all its creatures. It's been discovered by me. And we're just 79,000. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.